I'm working now for almost three years for ECPD in the area of medical care and health technology. And I think this is a new topic and this is a topic that will last for many years because it has something to do with the human capital of the population. You must have a good education and you must be healthy, otherwise you cannot really work and cannot be successful. So health is a major growth factor for the future. And in these Balkan states, I guess we are talking about the medical care systems, compare them with each other, compare them with Western Europe and find new uh, venues, new procedures to improve the health status of the population because the health status is a prerequisite for good working and uh, this is why I think that ECB is on the right track. And I have heard today and yesterday here with this conference that health is, a is in the future a further or a permanent priority and this is what I of course like and I brought some colleagues from Germany and from other European, Western European states to these conferences so that we are coming closer because I would like to help the Balkan states to come more to the north and west of Europe and so that we are a little closer and this is good for the population and health is a major factor apart from education. Education and health together is the human capital and the human capital is the prerequisite for growth and for the future and for a higher productivity. When you are not healthy, when you don't have an education, you cannot do anything. And this is why we are supporting this, area, this area and we do the same thing in our country as well. So we are investing more in health and we are not talking all the time about cost containment, cost containment. Cost containment is not so important. Important is that this is a growth factor and we have to support it. And perhaps you should know that in our calculations we, we found out that healthcare is about 10% of GNP, is 15% of employment. So this is a growth sector, a branch that is really something that you should support, not only in Western Europe but in Southeast Europe as well. So this is my topic and ECPD is supporting us and we are supporting ECPD and I hope that we are doing more and more with regard to the social security systems and Bismarck, the system that we have in Northwest Europe and uh, transport the knowledge in Southeast Europe because today I had the impression that there was too much about China <laughs> and uh, Western Europe is an important factor as well and there's competition of course between Europe and China and United States and the Balkan states as well and they should know what they would like to do.